Now, we're going to be talking about what it promises to deliver versus what it actually delivers. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing good. I'm FA and my channel is all about beauty, DIY skincare, product reviews and lifestyle. So if that's the sort of content you like, please consider subscribing and if you enjoy this video, do give it a like. So we're going to be talking about The Ordinary Skincare. Now it's a skincare range that I heard so much about before I tried it. You know, basically you always have to be sure of what it is you're going to be buying before you actually purchase it. So I did not do impulse purchasing of The Ordinary. The first time I heard about it was my older brother had told me about it and he was raving so much about it, which was a bit weird because he is not one to be on and on about his skin. Of course, the older we are, the more we need to start becoming more deliberate in taking care of our skin. And so when a friend told me about it, I decided I needed to buy it. My skin type is normal but i do i tend to be quite oily on my t-zones so it's like normal combination skin and i started experiencing acne in my older older years i didn't have any problems with acne when i was a teenager so it was a bit annoying when i started having acne um well into my 30s you know so um i started using the ordinary uh, about a month ago one habit i do have i'm so into my diy skincare and i'm so into my natural um skincare but the thing is it took me a while before i actually jumped into trying out the ordinary and what i got i got a couple of products but what we're going to be talking about today is the vitamin c one i don't know if you can i don't know if you can see that properly so this is basically the ordinary ascorbic acid 8% and alpha alpotein 2%. So before I tell you um, how my skin has responded to it, I will tell you a little bit about the product and what it promises to deliver. So it's got a powerhouse of two active ingredients. Now these two ingredients is the ascorbic acid, which is your vitamin C, and it also is combined with 2% alpha albutin now these two ingredients are renowned for working to even up the skin tone it fades dark spots it makes the skin definitely more supple more radiant and with that glow so when i saw the combination of these two it actually piqued my interest even more now the unique thing about the ordinary vitamin c is Vitamin C normally is less soluble in water and less stable in water. So it, you always have to use it's like an oil-based foundation for vitamin C to be properly incorporated into any skincare product. So the, the thing about the ordinary vitamin C is it is in a lightweight oil. Now, I don't really like oily or that oily residue on my face. So when i applied it on my face it was a light oil which was a bit forgivable obviously is to get your vitamin c at its optimum strength the ordinary skincare started making waves i would say a few years ago um, it's a canadian based skincare company and the key selling points that they came into the market with was they offering affordable priced skincare products that tend to work so when you visit sites like Amazon, you know, or Sephora, the reviews on there are quite phenomenal. So obviously this played in Sway Me outside of all of the YouTube videos. Now just a bit background about vitamin C. Now the vitamin C here that is in this product is 8%. And when you take vitamin C daily, even as um, a multivitamin supplement, it helps to heal damaged skin. Vitamin C is really good for evening out the skin tone. Now it also reduces any signs of aging that you might have. So using it early on before you even start noticing any signs of aging is actually the way to go. Now this particular product has got 8% of vitamin C, which basically is quite potent. Again, 
potent but safe to use. So it would address anything from fading out dark spots or dark marks on your skin to evening out the, and brightening the skin tone and also helping and protecting from environmental factors. Again, it helps to reduce the signs of aging. So these are the benefits of vitamin C in a nutshell. Now it's combined with 2% alpha albutene, which basically is a derivative of, of hydroquinone. Now, hydroquinone has got a really bad rep because of certain things that it actually can cause on the skin, from hyperpigmentation to um, accelerated age spots and, you know, on the extreme side, even um, skin cancer. Now, one of the beautiful things about this product is it hasn't got alcohol in it because alcohol can be quite drying and irritating to the skin. So it is an oil-based serum, so it just goes right into your skin. Now, take time out to make sure you actually massage it into your skin so it goes right in, so it doesn't leave like an oily residue on the surface of your skin. So I'm going to give you how it, it's worked on my skin. So I'm just going to show you the bottle. So it comes in a very, I love the packaging. It is just very clean. Um, it's very clean. And they're branded as an honest um, skincare company where they don't really put any hidden ingredients and they are quite transparent with all of the ingredients on the labeling of the bottle. So basically, I just got, so basically it comes in a dropper form. Now with vitamin C, you have to be quite careful. Vitamin C doesn't like anything to do with direct sunlight. It doesn't like any hash lighting at all. Uh, the darker the place where you store it, the more effective it will be on your skin. So I typically use this at night time. Now remember when you use vitamin C, you have to make sure you use sunscreen. Now sunscreen is something that you have to use regardless of whether you're using this product or not. It really helps to protect your skin from environmental factors. But when you use vitamin C, remember the chance of your skin becoming photosensitive is there. So you have to ensure that you protect your skin when you do go out. Once you open the product, you've got six months to use it, which basically is like a six month shelf life. Upon opening it, remember vitamin C doesn't really like exposure to direct heat, direct um, sunlight. It doesn't like exposure to the environment. So one of the ways you can store this is you can actually store it in the fridge so that way you get that really cold refreshing uh, feel when you put it on your skin so since i started using it i've noticed it's sort of starting to lift off some of my dark spots now these are dark spots that have been left behind by acne so it basically helps to not just brighten my skin but also to fade out dark spots as i said so overall uh, the question is is it what the hype yes i think it's definitely what the hype um one of the benefits again is the price point the price point is very affordable and it's not just affordable because we're not just looking about affordable skincare you're looking at at you're looking at affordable skincare that actually works so the ordinary definitely works if you pair it with other um products in the range like the niacinamide and the alpha albutin on its own that's fine but if you do get the ascorbic vitamin c combination i would just advise for you to use it because you basically need you don't need to rush into using it using it quickly but you do need to use it consistently for you to begin to see the benefits and the results of what it has to offer in your skin now the beauty about this product again they are not water-based so while it might feel oily the formulation is actually oil free it just feels that way after a few seconds but again as i said if you take time out to just massage it right into your skin then you wouldn't really get that oily residue sitting on the top of your skin now if you have problems with age spots or um, acne scars dark spots dark marks hyperpigmentation then this product is certainly one for you to try. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I will be giving a bit more update as I continue using it. I'm gonna be trying the, uh, the 
alpha or boutine is a bit of a mouthful isn't it i'm going to be trying the alpha or boutine as well um, because what i'm going to do is i would use each bottle up so that way i can give a review on the product that actually is not interfering with any other products so that way i know what's working and what's not so after i finish with this one this is my second bottle i'm going to be using the alpha abutin and then see and compare what sort of differences we're working with so i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did don't forget to give it a like and definitely consider subscribing and so until i come your way again it's fa signing up take care